Yo, 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 what's good, y'all? This game is Grabs. We're back in the building with another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you. And this one is going to be how to install add-on pads on the latest version of GTA for PC. All right. It's going to be a couple of links down in the description. If you already been following me, this is probably like the third uh, mod tutorial I did this week. And we're going to continue on with it with two more. Uh, please check the links down in the description. I'm going to have those videos down there as well. And the other links that I will have in the description will be add-on pads. This page right here. And then we will need script hook V and then script hook V.net. Then we're going to need native UI. All right. And you will also need open four. Okay. I have, uh, like I said, I will have links in the description. If you aren't familiar with these things and you need help to install them, I will be installing the script hook V's.net in the native UI today. I won't be installing the open four today, but I will be providing a link down in the description to a video to show you how to install open four. Okay. So let's get down to it. The first one that we're going to download is add on pads. Now, if you scroll down here to the description part, it's very important that you read the description of the mod before you download it. Read the requirements. The requirements for this one is the latest version of ScriptHook and the latest version of ScriptHook V.net and the latest version of the native UI. All right. Now, since we're going to download those, we have the main necessities for add on pads. OK, so make sure you follow those links. Download add on pads 3.01 It's going to be right here. Click this one. Then go to script hook v download right here and then go to script hook v.net scroll down and download right here now these are going to be downloading a zip file to your computer make sure that you have a program that can open up zip files okay something like win win war i think it's wins are win war whatever or seven zip okay um once you get those all done so these are the folders that you're going to need. This is how your folder should look right here with add on pads, script hook v, script hook v.net, and native UI. Okay. Now that we have our downloads all downloaded and you have open four already installed, let's go ahead and open up our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. All right. Now that we have the directory all loaded up right now, um, like I said, we've been already making videos on how to install menu and map editor. So today we're doing add on pad. So you will see that I have a menu already installed inside right here. And then um, we also have in our scripts folder that we created yesterday, we have map editor and we have native UI already installed, but I will show you how to install those right now. So now that we have our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory opened up, let's go ahead and click on script hook V. Okay. When we click on that, a folder will open up for script hook V and then we're going to click on the bin folder inside the bin folder. It will have two files that we need dim put, and then we're going to scroll down to script hook V dot DLL. We only need those two. Let's grab those two, drag and drop. Since I already have them, I'm not going to replace them, but that's the two files you need, drag and drop. Okay. Once you drag and drop those, we can close out the script hook V and open up the script hook V.net folder. All right. Script hook V.net folder. Now with this one, we're going to need the last three files in this folder. And then we're going to grab these three, drag, and drop right here into our GTA 5 directory. I already have them and I do not want to replace them. But for you, for the first time, you won't see that message. So just drag and drop these three right here inside the Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. Now that we have those installed, let's close out that folder, open up native UI folder, native UI. Inside that folder, we will have one file that says native UI.dll. What we're going to do is Go back to our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory and then we're going to click on scripts folder. If you don't have a scripts folder, just go ahead and make one. Right click on your mouse, scroll down to new folder, new folder, and then just add, call it scripts. Okay. Let me go ahead and delete that new folder. All right. Once we have a scripts folder made, we're going to click on scripts and inside, if you're doing this for the first time, you will have nothing inside of it. We're going to grab our native UI.dll file 
from our native UI folder, drag and drop. All right. Then we could go back to our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. All right. And then we could close out uh, native UI folder. Now we can open up our add on pets folder. Okay. This is our add on pets folder right here. We have a couple of items inside. The important ones that we're going to need is this DLC pack, DLC packs folder, which contains the actual add on pack for add on pets. Then we have the scripts folder, which contains our pet selector.dll file that we will need inside of our scripts folder. And we're going to have add on pets editor. This is how we could add on pets in um, edit, like delete or add a new pet to our list. We will need the add on pets editor in add on pets vars. Okay, so we're just actually going to be using the first four. Okay, so before we even get started with this, let's go back over to our GTA 5 directory and let's create a new folder. Let's go ahead and name this folder mods. Okay, mods M O D S mods. All right, once you have that folder created. You open that folder, you will have nothing inside of that folder. That's exactly how we want it, okay? Now, if you go back to your GTA 5 directory, you're going to see a folder that says Update. Go ahead and click on that folder that says Update. You will see two items, X64 and then Update Archive. We want to take this Update Archive and copy that archive, okay? Once we click Copy on that archive, go back to the GTA 5 directory, click on our mods folder that is empty and we're going to paste that archive we just copied all right now once that is copied we can go back to our grand theft auto 5 right here and just click on scripts folder okay click on scripts folder then we're going to go over here to add on page folder and click on scripts folder we're going to take this file that says petselector.dll, click on that and drag and drop that into our scripts folder for our GTA 5, okay? So from your GTA 5 directory, let's go back to the GTA 5 directory. If we click on mods, we should have an update archive. And if we go back to our directory and click on scripts folder, you should have petselector.dll inside your scripts folder. All right, let's go back to GTA 5 directory. Now what we want to do is open up open four. Okay. Going to open up open four. Now, if this is your first time uh, installing open four, you will see something like this. It will be a blue banner that says install plugin for GTA 5. This is your ASI manager. Now, without this ASI manager, the mods pretty much won't work. OK, so you need to click right here where it says ASI manager. Then you'll have another window that pops up. This window will more than likely, if it's your first time, it's all going to be blue. Okay, all of these will be blue. You're going to have to click install over here to install each one. Okay, so by the time you're done, it should be all green and they should all say installed. Okay, then we could click close. Now, what that does also, that also creates you a mods folder. But since we already created a mods folder, it didn't need to create a new one. All right. So what we want to do from here is go on this side and click on update. Then we want to click on 64. Then we want to click on DLC packs. Okay. Now if you scroll down right here, it's going to say MP patch SNG. Let's click on that folder. All right. Then inside there, it will say DLC RPF. Let's click on that archive. And once you click on that archive, another bread banner is going to pop up. It's going to say copy to mods folder. Click copy to mods folder. That's exactly what we need. All right. Once that is copied to mods folder, you want to go back over to file right here. Scroll down and click close all archives. Okay. Once that is done, let's just minimize the open four window real quick. We're going to minimize that. Let's bring back up our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory and bring back up our add-on pets folder okay now if we go into the add-on pets folder 
and click on DLC packs we all have an add-on page folder okay now let's go back over to our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory we click on the mods folder we just created you will see we have a folder inside there that says update let's click on that folder that says update then it will say x64 let's click on that then it will say DLC packs click on that now you will see the MP patch SNG folder that we added earlier what we're going to do is go back over to the add-on pads folder grab the add-on pads folder drag and drop that right here into the DLC packs okay make sure you drop it below the MP patch alright now this is exactly what we want to see add-on pads folder right here sitting on top of our other folder alright now we can go back to our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory by just pressing Grand Theft Auto 5 and then we can go back to our add on pads folder now we could take these two files right here add on pads editor and add on pads vars okay we're gonna drag and drop those into our GTA 5 directory make sure you're not dragging and dropping those into a folder drag and drop right where I'm dropping mine's at okay drag and drop then you will see your two files right here added to your GTA 5 directory all right now let's just go and make sure that we have everything set we have a mods folder update 64 dlc packs we have our add-on pets folder all right inside the scripts folder we have our pet selector dll and that's how um we're going to be opening up our menu with the l button is with that file okay so we seem to have everything installed inside our directory. Now we have one last thing that we have to do. Let's go back over to our add-on pads folder. Click on DLC packs. All right. Now let's just leave this up right here. We can minimize our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. Let's bring back up our open four. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now what we want to do is click on update right here on the side. And if you click on update RPF, it's an archive, click on that. We will have a red banner that pops up again. That's saying copy to mods folder. Click copy to mods folder. All right, now that that's successfully copied to the mods folder, let's go ahead and press or click on common. All right, once you click on common folder, click on the data folder. Scroll down and you should see a DLC list .xml. You click on that, then right click, and we're going to click edit. You scroll all the way down. These are all the add-ons that are added into the game. You will see all of these inside the original, <coughs> excuse me, the original DLC packs that we took MP patch SNG from. Now, what we want to do with this list is add add-on page name to this list, okay? So what I do is usually grab the last line. I will copy that line. Press enter behind that line to create a new line and then paste that same line. All right. Now what we're going to do is go back to our add on pads folder. Click on add on pads just so it's highlighted and we could copy the name. Then we're going to go back down to our DLC list and paste that same name right down here in the last line just like so so now you should have a new DLC packs line with add-on pads included after that click save all right now double click on DLC list scroll all the way down just to make sure that add-on pads was saved and as you can see it's still there all right we can exit out of that all right click on file and click close all archives all right now let's click on mods and click on update 64 dlc packs add on pads dlc rpf pads rpf and this here will be the place where you add your add-on pads add-on pads already comes with uh, two pads already installed uh, it comes with Vito mafia and superman
Okay, well, it's, Vito, it's Vito from the Game Mafia and it's Superman. So it comes with two pads. If you wanted to add on any pads, this will be the area. This will be the direction that you will add the pads inside. Okay, so since we have that all installed, let's go ahead and close this archive. And we can now close out Open 4. Okay, since we have add-on pads added on to our DLC list. Inside of our mods folder, we're all good to go. We can exit out of Open 4. Now we can exit out of our add on page folder as well. Okay, let's open up our um, Grand Theft Auto 5 directory and just do a quick run just to make sure that we have all the other necessary things installed. All right, we have our script hook V's right here. We have a script hook V, and then we also have our script hook V.NET installed. All right. And then inside of our scripts folder, we have our native UI installed. Okay, that is gonna make sure that everything inside of our scripts folder works. Okay, and the script hook V's is gonna make sure that everything outside in our directory works as well. Okay, so now that we have all that double checked, let's go ahead and run the game. All right, now that we have uh, loaded back inside the game, well. <laughs> Let's go ahead and press L. You're going to press L to bring up the add-on pads menu. And there we go. I have the menu right there. Let's click on add-on pads. Um, and I already had some uh, pads pre-added and everything. But when you first open it, the only ones you're going to see is Superman and Vito. I don't have Vito in here. I took Vito off. So uh, let's go ahead and use Superman. This is the Superman pit that's going to come already installed. There you go. He's not going to have any powers. He's just going to be a regular pit. Oh, there you got it, folks. This is how to install add-on pits. Please check out the links in the description. They're going to help you out a lot for people that's getting stuck and saying that uh, the L button doesn't work. It's because you didn't install something correctly. You also have to make sure that you have everything updated. Make sure that your game files is updated to the last game update. And also make sure that all your script hooks is updated. And make sure that you have all the requirements for these mods before you download them. All right. That's very important. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for me, folks. Um, if this helps you out, definitely smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be having more tutorials in the near future as well. This is Games and Graphics. Me and uh, Superman right here, man. We out of here. Until next time. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.